mother many years ago. She's really the rock of that family in Maryland. And she brought them in into a dress of black caucus. And our relationship has been flourishing ever since. And there is no other black key fast. We thank him so much. Please give Keith a big hand. He deserves it. Yeah. And, uh, I knew in Keith that was something great from your country. And I know that's something noble and great from him. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, at a time when there is um, so much violence in the world, we seem never to overcome the idea that violence works. It just never does. There's something futile about eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. It leaves us blind and disfigured and ugly without a, without a remedy. There's something so noble about those who so swim upstream with the client who put their lives on the line, who in fact risk jail and death that the others might be saved. Such is the case of this Nobel Peace Prize winner in our midst tonight. It makes all of us feel better about ourselves. It reaffirms again that, that Gandhi was right, that Dr. King was right, that Jesus was right. When Mandela came out of jail choosing reconciliation over retribution, he was right. And she is in that tradition. She is right. There are new big elections in your country in a few days from now. And all it really proves to me over and over again is that when it's, when it's real dark, real dark, you don't need a light from the mass, it's a little light will do you. It's real dark. And why we're so impressed with the walk tonight is because she is that spirit, in many ways, that occupying spirit of love and hope and joy that goes against the current of hatred and violence and distrust. And so on the tales of her struggle and her nobility, we're all made better. And because of her work, her sacrificial work, you will have a better and if you're a country, God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Jackson. Really? When they told me that you are coming, I couldn't believe that. I'm so happy because now I feel that the soul of Martin Luther King is with us. Yes. He's my inspiration. I read a lot of things about him. I listened to his speeches many times when he said, I had dreams. I told him, Martin Luther King, we have dreams. Yes. We have dreams and we will achieve our dream. Yeah. And that's what happened when we, when we started our revolution, peaceful revolution. In my office, in my room, in my laptop, there is a big picture of Martin Luther King. So please, when you go back to the United States, go to his grab and tell him, tell all at Yemeni people, tell you, thank you so much. Thank you so much. And tell him that I raise your hand, I tell you together we will achieve our dreams. Together we will achieve all our dreams. This is the new world. There is not individual dream, dream. It's our dream to build this new world. This new world must be fair. This new world must be equal. This new world must respect human rights, must respect anti-corruption, must respect our rights to have many religions, to have many cultures, 
to live with each other, to love each other, and to work with each other. It's our new world. Tell Martin Luther King that the dream of Tawakkul and of all people in four countries that they want to know to, to live in one world based on international citizenship. International citizenship. We will live in one nation, which is humanity, and in one land, which is our earth. So we can build our new world, we can achieve all our dictator all our dreams, and we will start with step down all the dictatorship around the world. Thank you. 